Let's go. Oh, yeah. What's up, TikTok? Another we one. are back. Back with another session. Is that a white Hello. claw? Oh, I don't have Who has the claw? Oh, no. I it's a, a, I have a claw. Oh, I got a drink vodka soda. Nice. Nice. Ryan, dude, I, I, gotta, a, I like the crew neck. Oh, thanks, dude. Limited grandpa edition. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means. I don't know what high end brand this is. Is this streetwear? Who knows? But <laughs> I had to pick it up. But um, Grant, yeah, dude. Win for the win. Grant at the top. Enjoying yeah, a good, good glass of water here. What are you guys enjoying? I have a well, gl- glass of water. He's got a Canadian. Yep. Yeah. Mike, what are you sipping on? <laughs> What's so, going on? I'm just adjusting. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, dude, <laughs> Mike, talk. Yeah. I'm just adjusting my white balance settings. Give me yeah. a sec. This is sick. And you want to show us while yeah, you do yeah. it, eh? Are we, are we still doing the podcast with the full screen, or are we doing it with the grid? Uh, I think it's just flipping, just like usual. But uh, okay. we're going to bring better quality shit for you guys soon. I know you, all you guys will watch it, the fucking thousands of you. It's going to get really good quality soon. The best way you can support the podcast and see it get better is um, buy all the merch whenever we drop merch. Yeah. yeah. Tell, your, tell your cousins to buy some too because, like, everybody needs a shirt, you know, a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> we should drop jeans, dude, Bearings jeans. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be, be hard. hard. Not that'd be hard. hard. All right, yo, we're going to rip through some, through some topics this week because – we don't got anything to talk about because we're stuck in an Ontario lockdown. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm we saying? We can talk about that. We, we talk can about talk about that. that. That sucks hard. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. spend let's spend a good minute on how much this sucks, boys. It almost sucks soft. It doesn't even suck hard. Oh god, yeah. the worst the worst kind, man. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen I haven't seen a friend in a long time. You know? Do you guys know any friends? Just the ones myself. on myself. <laughs> um okay first topic okay we're gonna rip we're gonna rip through them hard this is gonna go. be tough this is gonna be tough the greatest classic rock band oh, of that's all easy time. that's of easy. all time come on that's not hard i think okay. that's pretty easy but i, I don't know if it's so. easy but let's that's go. easy all right let's all say it on the count of five no oh. it's not what's I'm that actually band? Ki- can I guess Collins before he even says his? I don't think you're gonna get Collins it right. You don't think like so? Fish or no. Some dumb shit. I think I think Collins is Rush. Collins they're probably the they're probably know. top three. No. Okay. I think I'll go first. I think the greatest classic rock band ever is Queen. All right, that's fair. Okay, that's good. They're okay, good. yo, yo, what's that band that Slash started after Guns N' Roses? Like, sort of the V or something? Velvet Revolver. That's mine. <laughs> doesn't know what it's called <laughs> no but that's mine that shit was weird dude no it's not my pick i mean can we pick the beatles in this category yes 100 yeah. percent. okay yeah. okay i mean yeah i just like every time i think of classic rock i just think of like heavier stuff than the beatles like by a, by a hair but i mean beatles are probably my pick man it's honestly one of the greatest bands of all time. yeah that's mine too uh, well especially because as the years went on records like revolver were fucking incredible sergeant peppers but i guess you are kind of right i don't know i don't know how hard it really slots like it would be on classic rock radio mm-hmm. yeah. but when i think classic rock i think led zeppelin i yeah, think the, the i was gonna most, say mine's led zeppelin the most sure. like, yeah. classic rock sounding beatles song is like helter skelter yeah that one is like riff yeah that's a heavy yeah. tune that yeah, one goes hard, dude. Apparently, they wrote that because the Who said they had the heaviest song around at that time, and I forget what song it was. And the Beatles were like, "Well, we'll, we'll write something heavier," and so they did "Helter Skelter." But apparently, it was like That's a little cool. beef between the two bands, like a friendly beef. Yeah, friendly. for real. Yeah. Roger, Roger Daltrey, and Paul McCartney just beefing. Yeah. What's weird about that question, though, the like, greatest classic rock bands, is there's so many like right answers. Like everything you guys have said, I'm like. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you know, so like we'll, Zeppelin. Uh, so mine, yeah. mine would be Creedence Clearwater Revival. That's a great. Yeah. That's dude, a great CCR, one. I don't know. Yeah, that's a CCR good. CCR goes hard. That's yeah. my dad's favorite band, dude. So does really? everyone have their undisputed one? Mine's Queen for sure. All and I get along. 
That's Beatles for me. Me and Doug got yeah. Beatles, I think. Yeah, Beatles. But if if you had to be picky about what if what's rock, then Zeppelin. Yeah, yeah, and then Mike Zeppelin. Yeah, I'm on, okay, I'm on the Zeppelin train. Yep. Yo, good picks, good picks. Um, okay. Metallica though. Let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight up. Okay, fast forward. Um, what would it be like sixty years now? That driver's license song that just dropped. Did y'all listen to it? Yeah. Yeah. Not <laughs> Ryan so hyped about not it. Not in full. Not in full. Actually, not in full. Listen to. I mean, full. I'm gonna be honest with you. After you listen to the first 45 seconds, the rest of the song is literally the same. The so same, you get man. the idea. But well, that's also uh, what makes it cool because the hook is like I forget what the word for it is, but it's when like one line is the hook. It's not like a the chorus isn't necessarily the big hook, but the I forget yeah. what that's called. When There's you just have one line and it's like a, a trailing line that finishes it off, but that's like the known part of the song. Which yeah, I think it's cool. it's like, the, like that. I drive alone past your street line. Are you thinking of that line? You mean? Yeah. 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 Because it always but, reoccurs. It always comes back and finishes it off. Even if you don't vibe with it, like I personally think it's a really dope song just because like the emotion in her voice. But like, dude, how fast the song blew up on Spotify. Dude, like, what I did looked, it hit? A hundred million? At, yes. It's, it's some, is that someone crazy? I looked at her Spotify, uh, their Spotify, and it's all like high school musical stuff. And then I yeah. looked yeah. at the driver's yeah. license and I was like, yeah, this makes sense. This sounds like high school musical. Yeah. But I, I think there's <laughs> like tea there. there. Didn't she like well, date like better, one of the dudes? Like, you know, same thing. Oh, there's like yeah. a story yeah. to yeah. it. There's like a oh, reason. Yeah. Yes. Apparently this, yeah, too. It's, true. it's about someone, her, her cast member. Like I said, I've only, I haven't even listened to the song in full, but I've heard enough about it that I know that yeah, it's written about like her co-star on the yeah. she was in a high school musical show. Like not even yeah. the movie. It was like a like how they did that school of rock TV show. It was like <laughs> the same thing. They did like a high school musical TV show. Dude, I heard and the guy I didn't even know that is dropping. I heard the guys dropping a song too to like counteract the story. I haven't heard oh, it or, no. or know anything about it, but I think he's coming oh. in with some heat. Are we talking oh, about Oh, that makes oh, me hate it. It's called the like Boaters license. <laughs> Wait, Mike, did you say it's out? What'd you say? No, I said Troy Blue, even though the dude's name is Corbin Blue. <laughs> uh, Troy Blue. Corbin. I hate that. I hate that license. so much. Dude, we're gonna have we're gonna have high That's school so musical beef. High school musical beef in the music industry. It's gonna Another- be sweet crazy thing about that song though it was co-written by a dude from like our scene um he used oh, to, really? that makes sense he used to play in a band that was on triple crown and now he like writes for pop stars so That's i don't dope. know what his name is, <laughs> i was gonna say it makes sense because it sounds like some sad emo shit <laughs> yeah you yeah know? of course yeah. a dude on triple crown like, records i'm interested like, uh, yeah that, new label. that that just makes sense that just is how it has to be yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, um, moving on. This one's gonna get fired up, boys. Like, I hope you're ready. You ready? Maybe. Nike Dude. versus Adidas. Ah, come on. Dude. Look at Doug right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's better? Okay, let's go through. Let's go through all of us because, like, this might be split. I don't know. Doug, you go first. I mean, you're wearing the suit. You kind of have to roll with it. Right? Yeah. Well, I think Adidas is, I mean, both brands are timeless. They both have their distinct styles. Mm -hmm. Um, Obviously, Adidas, you know, all the best English and bands from, you know, over in the UK were wearing Adidas in the 90s. And they just made it cool as fuck. And their shoes are really good and not super expensive. And it's easy to put an outfit together. I feel like Nike sometimes the it it's a little more out there you know like when you wear air force ones you're wearing air force ones Let's yeah go. you know what i mean like you really have to put your outfit outfit around it where i find with adidas you can it's just i like it more because you can kind of it's just easier dude that was almost a pun that was almost a pun yeah with the, out, with the outfit you know but i think they're both sick i do think they're both sick i just prefer adidas True, true. I uh, I think Adidas makes cooler clothes. 
Uh, and I was really on the Adidas train until I got uh, my new shoes that I use for drumming, and they're Nike. So I don't Dude, know. Yeah. I like Nike shoes. Nice. Every time I see your drumming videos, I, I'm actually just looking at your shoes. Like, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah. ordered those shoes, and I and then I hit up Mike to be like, "Yo, man, I'm thinking about getting these. Like, you already have them. How do they fit?" And then Mike just responded, I have every colorway, but sure, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think it was that. It was, well, was the, I said, I was, yeah, dude, they're great. Get them. <laughs> but no, you did. But I was like, well, which ones do you have? So we don't wear the same shoes. And I was like, I you were like oh, I have all of them. I have every single possible design of the shoe. And I was yeah. like, well. It's a banging shoe. It is well, a dope shoe. I also, dude. to be fair, I also said I don't care if we, dude. Let's match up, bro. Let's, yeah. Let's well, do dude, it. the thing is, now we never see don't each other me. anyways. So yeah, buy yeah, whatever. That's let's, true. Let's all buy the same. By the time shit. we, by the time we see each other, we'll be in. We won't even be fitting into the same clothes. We'll have grown. <laughs> we'll have gotten older. <laughs> We're all gonna be you wearing know? suits and shit. Man, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, I was we'll gonna say jobs. I was gonna say, um, I love them both. Just like I think we all love them both. Like I own Adidas yeah. and Nike stuff. I think they're both incredible companies. I think like always Nike has had the edge for me, just because like the logo is so I don't know, iconic. You know, you see that it's like sharp. You it's see that really check sharp logo. Yeah, you see that check mark on a shoe and you're just like, damn. And you know what? Nothing beats, out to nothing me. beats vintage Nike clothes either that's yeah, what like I, I was said i said right. adidas clothes are better but if it's vin- like if it's older then nike wins yeah dude like, i actually vintage have the nike shoe like crushes vintage adidas but more recently like the nike sh- like shirts and hoodies and stuff that you see at the mall are just terrible and yeah. like bad quality for the most part like if i see i don't know there's like one nike hoodie out there that i i like which is just the embroidered one yeah but that one's nice dude i like that so i mean when they have the plain shirts with the check mark but yeah, i was yeah. just gonna say but this that's uh a vintage thing the shoe here this is the whole reason i exist now. we yeah, should nice do, you, do you guys not sleep with your shoes next to you like i sleep with this thing every night we cuddle i, I sleep with my, with my slippers on dude good call they nike north face <laughs> oh Colin fit Colin fits what are you guys picking uh, I'd probably go Nike myself, but I, I, I uh, like everybody. I own both, and I think they're both dope. But Girl. Nike, I, I prefer. I have more Nike stuff. I have Nike shoes right now. So, yeah. oh, Nike, I Nike vintage. My is own, my favorite vintage. My beef with Nike shoes is just how thin they are. It's like the sizing. So See, I have, I have beef with their shoes. I have very thin feet, like my feet. Uh, are, so it like it's perfect for me. <laughs> but yeah, now I think there's my two favorite shirts one is nike and one's adidas so straight up it's tough to pick there we go it's tough to it pick. is all right um next one is what is the greatest cartoon show to you guys like you can Looney go Tunes. you can you can go nickelodeon you can go adult cartoon whatever you're feeling Looney Tunes, mike did you say Yes, oh, he Mike's, did. Mike's gone. He recently- oh no, he's getting his collection. I think he got his collection. <laughs> I just got exactly. this in the mail the other day. No, way. I've been I've been watching it nonstop. This shit oh, nonstop. No spotlight <laughs> collection. Yeah, twenty four seven, dude. I don't dude. think Mike, you're gonna have to show it again. It wasn't on your screen when you showed it. Yeah, test, talk test, for a second. Test. Hello, hello. Looney Tunes for the win. There it is. That one there two, we go. three. I love that, dude. So that's your pick. You can't pick anything else. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> that's it. Dude, I have to go with, I mean, it is tough, but like SpongeBob SquarePants, man. He's the king. I was going to say, someone's got to pick SpongeBob. <laughs> he was the, the king. king. He's the king. Yo, last weekend, they had an NFL game where SpongeBob was like all over yeah. the game. Like through the field goal, his face would pop up and shit. And the whole game was like Nickelodeon based. It was so weird. Yeah, dude, I, <laughs> I, I couldn't, I, I wonder what the conversation was to make that happen. I know. My like, God. let's take let's take a bunch of men running into each other and beating each other up and put it on a kid's channel, but we'll like spice it up. See that exactly. it's, <laughs> you know. So, so weird. I'm, I'm finally uncovering why SpongeBob is Ryan's favorite, and it's because he's literally played the Super Bowl. Oh, oh yeah. my God, that's true. That's the connection. That is true. That is true. Mm. Um, which which Super Bowl was that? Was that like 
two years ago i can't even remember i think like, it was it was like two years ago yeah something like that but yeah great months. show dude that's everyone what's else's up? um i'm gonna say the simpsons is the simpsons pro- a cartoon I'll- I'll probably agree with you there. Like, I mean, I think in terms of the greatest, you mm. know, the early, the first like 10, 15 seasons are amazing. Yeah. First, I'd like to, yeah. first 10. I'd, I'd like to make an honorable mention with the, the classic Scooby-Doo's. Oh, yeah. Those Very are good. Of the old stuff. Didn't, old didn't stuff Simple Plan stuff. sing the theme song? Yep. 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 It was like, what you do, you do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, f- I feel like mine is basically the set Looney Tunes, like the the classics. But if I had to go, if I just had to throw one out there, that wouldn't be that. Maybe like Jacob Tutu. That was a classic when I was Ooh. younger. Jacob Tutu. Jacob Tutu. Wow. 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 It's a good one. There's, there's hockey. There's That's a drama. throwback. Holy. That hurt. I, hurt my, you, I hurt my soul. Were you more like nickelodeon kids or did you guys watch like the teletoon stuff both both, both for sure yeah. yeah yeah well it was weird because i i was only allowed to watch channel 25 for a long time and and until i realized there was another kid's yep. channel was 25 ytv yeah cool yeah yeah, yeah. ytv rocked and 31 was family channel i don't know <laughs> something like that i, just, I think it was for me it was 51 for me 51 it was 51 yeah Yo, and I'm just going to say, like, Family Guy seasons one to five, gold for me. After that, just trailed off. Felt way too repetitive. Family Guy's pretty good. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 It, was pro- it was probably my favorite adult show, like, being a teenager and stuff. I'm also a personally a very big South Park guy. Yeah, but, South Park. You know, great. I've watched yeah. a lot of South Park. Explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it the South Park, yeah. bro. I couldn't do it. Oh, it's that hilarious. I, That's fair. I it's, think, it's not for everybody. I think the yeah. first time I watched a South Park episode in full was when we got stuck in the snowstorm coming back from LA, and it was like uh, all yeah. that was on the hotel TV. I liked it then, but Dude, oh, I'm not. Right. I'm not gonna I wasn't lie. Like allowed to watch it as a kid. That was that was the episode about bird scooters. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, we're back. We got a couple more topics Nothing to happened. go. Yeah, nothing yeah. happened. No, no internet no cut technical out. Technical difficulties. Ryan does yeah. all in Africa. Ryan said all Tom good. Brady sucked, actually. Wow. <laughs> well, oh, you guys are gone. I hate Tom he Brady. He did. He actually did. <laughs> it's real. It's real shit. Um, yeah, okay. Speaking of uh, Tom Brady, good segue, lads. What's all of your favorite sport moment of all time? Like your most memorable moment <laughs> regarding sports? Well, as the biggest, <laughs> let's get guy, Fitz out of the way. Let's get Fitz out of the way first. <laughs> biggest sports guy in the band. The only time I, okay, not the only time, but the time I felt like I've resonated most with the sport was when we were playing the first show of the Belmont tour and Raptors were, were winning the championship. We're vibing. Yeah. 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 yeah that was and, pretty crazy. Uh, that might have been the only time I've truly cared about sports. Mm-hmm. that was a really good time that was that's probably my top five of like sport moments dude that's in my yeah. top five i will that's have a great to say moment. from my childhood the uh giants and patriots was a massive one that i re- still remember like yeah every second of it that one hurts my hurts my soul dude. it hurts yeah, you it does <laughs> but, but dude uh, it was so crazy like you can never forget about it yeah yeah, yeah it really was i remember it dude after that game going to school the next day i was in grade eight just being torn apart like i got eaten alive it's like a piece of food and a bunch of pigeons jump on it like that was me yeah all the all the kids just took me to took me to town dude all the um, kids, you had that many kids who cared about the super bowl in <laughs> dude i i was such a big pats fan ryan was ever going since i was like, a kid Tom brady's gonna kick your dad's ass yeah <laughs> seriously <laughs> he's like seriously, does, your, dude. does your dad want to bet on the super bowl <laughs> uh for, for me for me it's probably when uh like i grew up a Sens fan and i watched them play like they played well enough every single year for like 10 years straight to make it to the playoffs but they never went deeper than like the second round and then finally they made it to the stanley cup finals and there was like one goal that i remember going insane for and it was when daniel alfredson scored to advance them to stanley cup finals 
I had never felt happier. And I was like, the Sens are going to win the Stanley Cup. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And it uh, didn't happen. But uh, <laughs> in that moment, it felt like they were. And I was like, oh, I'm truly like, oh, this is amazing. And other yeah. than that, every single team I've ever cheered for in my entire life has let me down year after year. <laughs> so I've never <laughs> felt – I, I, the Raptors are the cl- – but I'm not a big, like, basketball fan. But that's the closest I've ever felt to my team winning because I've never watched any of my teams win anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Like being in a band. I love it, too. I feel like mine's probably Sidney Crosby's golden goal at the Winter Olympics. Dude. Such there are moment. Winter Olympics. Huge yeah. moment. Yeah. And uh, aside from that, it's got to be when the Leafs were playing Boston. And it was the year the Leafs should have been really bad and not made the playoffs at all. But they made it in there, and they brought it to game seven, and they blew it in the third period up 4-1. And uh, Bruins fans will never let us forget it. Uh, dude, even that is such a moment. That, that was heartbreaking. That was terrible. That, that one hurt, dude. And then we got beat by a fucking Zamboni driver last year. Man, it's just tough being a Leafs <laughs> fan. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> um, yeah, my top one. There's a lot of moments I can recall that I absolutely adore just over the years watching football and basketball. Um, but um, for me, it was probably the Patriots and Falcons Super Bowl when uh, they were down 28 to three. And then the Patriots came back in the third and fourth quarter. I was just, and like, was that a couple of years ago? Or yeah, it was 20, 2016 season. Yeah. It was just like, Dude, I, first half, getting all these messages from all these people. I'm like, Patriots are done, blah, blah, blah. It's like 28 to 3. And then they just mount this huge comeback. And, uh, yeah, that moment I'll never forget. There's videos on YouTube of, like, me and a few friends going ballistic at the end of that game. Colin, you remember uh, us communicating during that game when you were at, like, a Super Bowl party? You guys send me I think so, yeah. Yeah. Got, like, That's a bunch cool- of videos. That's the cool thing about the NFL being rigged is that like crazy things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, dude. It's like every game though, in the playoffs with the NFL, like I won't lie, it gets pretty ridiculous. You're like, how the fuck is this happening? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like WWE. Cause it's written like W. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's not rule out WWE. <laughs> they go, they go hard, eh? <laughs> A lot of moments I remember from that from my childhood that were pretty mm-hmm. sick. Yo, when the Undertaker remember, enters the dude, re- like what? Yeah. Dude, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio versus the Great Kali. Oh my god. Oh, fight man. for the ages, dude. That shit was but crazy. Dude, dude, even Randy Orton's RKOs though, like, let's not forget. They went so hard. And then all the yeah, they did. came out. Yeah. And then yeah. uh dude, John Cena. I named my cat after John Cena. So you could tell yeah, how you remember, uh, important he you was. Remember you remember Umaga's finisher? Dude, I don't even remember Umaga right now. Oh, uh, dude, he would just he was just this big dude and his finisher was just rubbing his ass in the dude's face <laughs> against the turnbuckle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's a move. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, good moments, boys. Um, last one though. What is your tour ritual? slash routine like do you have something that you do every tour or something before a show or anything that you think you got to do to have a good time uh you know, for me six beers all six of beers you can is be one of them. coffee every single <laughs> oh, yeah. one of you is coffee yeah um, for me i was gonna say every single night on tour before we play I tell everyone that I'm going to change my strings and then I don't. <laughs> that and that is, my, <laughs> that is my ritual every night. You're usually and, six and, beers deep at that point. And then, and like, and then yeah, eventually sure. halfway, halfway through the tour, I hand my bass to Fitz and go, I was gonna can, say. You, can you set this up? And uh, here's a fresh pack of strings. And then yeah. he'll do it for me. And yeah. he'll be like, I swear I'll buy you breakfast tomorrow. It's, it's weird because <laughs> when I'm home, never comes. When, never I, comes. when I'm home, I change my strings constantly. Every day. I, yeah, but that's that's because no, there's not a fridge full of PBR ten feet away from you. And and there's also like I can just work in my own area the, on tour, like finding a place to like set up your base and stuff. I'm just like, ugh, yeah, so I'd rather just not deal with it. it. You know what? On top on top of that, one time I lent Colin my string cutters to string oh, his base. One of the only times he's back. restrung his base on tour, and <laughs> I've never seen those string cutters again. Did, did he buy you yeah. new ones yet? 
we worked out some kind of deal where we were at a restaurant and I was just like, you know what, dude, just buy my burger and don't worry about the screen. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. And that's a good but, deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, now I feel like I just have to change a string. So I just have all my supplies at the end of the day. <laughs> Does anyone else have any rituals? Like I, I don't know, Mike, you saying coffee, that's you just pretty much predicted mine. Yeah, I gotta have yeah. coffee, man. Um, I like to stretch sometimes. Well, every show right before it. That's my thing, I guess, which is just like warming up. But I don't do it every show. But if it's yeah, like Fitz a, joins me sometimes. Yeah. If it's a show where it's like, uh, like I just, I don't know, I'm tired or I'm just like not feeling myself that day. I always do jumping jacks. That's a big one for you. Yeah. yeah also, you a few times, a few times we've gone for runs. We've gone for runs for a couple of times before shows. Sometimes a, a nice yeah. midday nap too. Sometimes. Sometimes you have to. Like, I remember we played one show in Amityville once, and I just showed up and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I can't spend another fucking day in this band. And I just had to go for a run. <laughs> Did you say van you... or band? <laughs> it's a little, band. little bit of both, maybe. A little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, runs are good. We should start doing it more. But you don't want to like get even more sweaty. I guess well, you, you don't want to. Because there's no point... shower. You don't want to get uh, you wouldn't want to go outside and get caught by COVID right now too. He's out there. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, can't go, <laughs> when you're on you can't go. You can't go out right now. <laughs> COVID's just this guy that roams yeah. the streets. <laughs> yeah. You go for a run, he points at you, and you're like, "Oh fuck, dude." COVID's <laughs> actually just like a Minecraft creeper. Oh lord. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. Mine would probably be if it's one of those days where it's just hard to feel it. You take a tequila shot before the set. You're definitely awake now. Uh, But other than that, I think it's just literally I hate feeling like the set is coming up. Like I hate when there's things to do half an hour before we play. I just want to be able to like talk with between you and me, joke about some shit and then walk on stage and not yeah, have to think about it. That's like yeah. my biggest thing. Not I'm going to bring up that so easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to can't bring wait for the day that I, we don't have to set up our own gear and we can do that. Yeah. True. true. Dude, um, I hate, I hate waiting around hours and hours to play the show. Like when we get to the venue and we got four or five hours to play, I'm like, God damn it. So long. Yo, don't don't leave me alone on this, but the pre-show poops. Anyone's got anyone got those? <laughs> many, yep. many of those. Yeah. yeah. There, was, there was one time where we set up uh we were on the Gray Scale tour playing in New York, whatever theater that was. But it was definitely Gramercy. the yeah, Gramercy. one of the biggest shows of the tour. Set up all my stuff on stage and I looked at Colin and I was like, dude, I need to go to the bathroom. And he was like we start in two minutes. And I was like, <laughs> fine. And I threw my guitar down and ran to the bathroom. And that was not an easy, easy bathroom to get to either. No, yeah. I had to run down all these stairs. I sat down, taking care of business by BTO, and then came back up. <laughs> Dude, I pretty much, but, I think I, I go for a poop before most shows, like almost yeah, all. Too. You got to yeah, get it out of your system so you're light. Thi- the thing is, is that some venues don't have like a green room washroom. Well, you shouldn't right. be doing that in the green room washroom anyways, because that's fucked up. So yeah. if that is the situation and you got to go, then you got to go out and use like the residential washroom. And there's just nothing that will ever prepare you or the person that is excited to meet you when you both walk out of the stall at the same time. Yeah. Yes. Because they're right like, "Oh, stage. dude." <laughs> yeah. They're like, "I just, I, I heard that," and I was like, "Bro, that I heard smell. you, dude. I heard it, it fall into the water." <laughs> that was nice, nice, nice plop, like, dude. No, nice plop. No, nothing, nothing ruins your like facade of being like a cool band guy worse than than that. That's what it all <laughs> dude, goes. Dude, it's I all can't. Over. I feel you so much. Like I can't take a poo with a guy beside me in another stall like that's just it's a weird yeah. time it's a weird time especially, especially you gotta some drink dudes, more coffee bro, some dudes <laughs> like they're so vocal when they're doing it that you're oh like, yeah oh what the fuck is you your situation <laughs> are you okay do we need to call an ambulance <laughs> it's so true dude all right all right we're getting way off the let's, radar let's end, on the poop <laughs> let's end on the poop nice poops guys um a beer yeah. and poop. that's how you get ready for the set exactly 
But yeah, next uh, podcast, we're going to try to make this even better quality for all you gems out there. So any final words, guys, uh, going from the screen, flopping back and forth? Hey. Good riddance. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Have a good one. Um, if Stay you're true to yourself. if you're one of the hackers Have watching us do this right now, make sure to tune into our stream tonight. <laughs> They're watching right now. <laughs> the FBI. Do you guys the have FBI. any good like? Do you guys have any good like announcer voices to end the stream on? Like, oh yeah, that? I got one. I got one. I got one. Do it. I'll end it on you. Game time, buddy. <laughs> uh no, I I need between you and me. It's too much pressure now. Thank you for watching. <laughs> The Bearings Podcast episode, whatever eight? this is. That is <laughs> awful. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. it's probably eight. I think it's eight. Yeah, it's eight. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Peace out. Bye. 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 Bye.